see a dog owner demanding I pay vet bill after pepper spraying their dog. I was walking my dog, a small Shiba Inu. I'm in the Denver area which has leash laws unless otherwise stated. I'm in a north part of Denver where it's mostly SFH and parks. I was walking my dog this past Saturday. Near the end of the walk I was really close to my home passing by an elementary school across the street which has some public areas for picnics and seating in front of it. Not technically on the school's property, but it's an extremely large median dividing two roadways utilized as a park area. There was a couple about 25 yards away from me as I was walking on the sidewalk. As I was walking by a huge pit bull just bolted to me and I couldn't really tell if it was going to attack me, my dog, or if it just wanted pets. I didn't want to assume the latter at the expense of mine and my dog's safety my dog is only 17 pounds, and I'm petite too. It'd probably get killed if the pit bit it. There's a lot of people with off-leash dogs in the area and I've been bitten before by a pit, also, so I'm a bit skeptical of them when not under control of the owner. I carry a can of police grade pepper spray for this situation ever since I got bit. This time I pulled it out and lit the dog up with the stuff Sabre Red Tactical. The dog stopped pretty abruptly and started coughing, and looking extremely distressed. The owner was screaming at me what the fuck did you do to my dog? and threatened to call the police. I didn't want to stick around because the dog still scares me whenever it snaps out of its stupor so I walked to my house. Sunday they showed up to my front door telling me they had over a thousand dollars worth of vet bills and claiming their dog might go blind. I told them I'm not interested in paying their vet bills and she told me her husband is a lawyer and I will be hearing from him soon. I'm just scared now because I don't really want to deal with this. I felt threatened and I didn't even kill the dog. I've been bitten before and I was in the ER with over 30 stitches and still have scars. I don't fuck around with any out of control dogs, but especially muscular pit bulls. How is this likely to go if she really is married to a lawyer and we go to court over it? Edit their dog was off leash. This was in a park that was not a designated off-leash area. If she goes to court she'll have to testify she let the dog run at large and all that implies criminal and civil liability. It might have been beneficial to stay while she called the cops so that it was legally documented her dog was off-leash. But I think you're fine if her loyal husband pursues charges unless she lies about the leash and the court believes that. Not a lawyer. Wait until you're served. There is a 99.99 .99 chance they are bluffing. Yes, my dog was at large and charging someone and got pepper sprayed the judge would laugh them out of court. Next time call the non-emergency to report a dog attack that you defended with chemical spray. You could go home first and call file a report but always protect yourself. Discharging chemical weapon in public space, you have the right to protect yourself but be smart and follow with report incident. This way the other party have harder time to lie to police or in court. No leash no case. The law husband will know this and it's unlikely you'll hear from these people again. That said, I'd keep an extra close eye on your dog. You don't want mysterious meat tossed into your yard that's been marinated in radiator fluid. This would be bad news for your dog. The dog owner would have a losing case, when threatened with them calling the police you should have done exactly that yourself and had the police take a report, just state the facts, an unleashed pit bull ran across the street towards you and your dog and you feared for your safety. She won't win that case. Her dog should have been on a leash and controlled. Uncontrolled dogs are the reason people and animals get bit. People threaten to sue all the time. It doesn't mean anything until they file in court. It's usually a scare tactic. Now, and I know nothing about pet law, but I'll throw out the advice that often comes up. It's very easy to threaten a lawsuit, but that doesn't mean they're actually going to file. If you do get sued, you have to show up, but there's no guarantee they actually will. If the dog got close enough for the OP to pepper spray, the dog was not under the owner's control, even if it was leashed and it got away. 
also in Denver and can't stand the amount of people who don't understand the leash law. You did nothing wrong. Don't interact with these people at all until they have official involvement. If that actually happens, lawyer up. You don't owe these people anything. Did you call the police to make a report after the event? If her husband really is a lawyer, that's highly in your favor. He will look at this case and quickly realize he can't win it. They're unlikely to sue because they're in the wrong and any decent lawyer will tell her that. Don't let him being a lawyer scare you. The simple story was their dog wasn't under their control. It charged you in a public space and you defended yourself. Given your experience in the past, you acted reasonably. Leave all other items aside. Your best response to the confrontation would have been why doesn't your lawyer husband know the law then? Not a very good lawyer. Is it legal for you to have that grade of pepper spray? That's the only issue that I can think of that might put you in any jeopardy. Regardless, their dog was off leash and charging. You have a right to protect yourself and your dog from attack. I wouldn't pay their vet bill, either. How stupid can they be to allow a pit bull they don't have recall with off leash? They are literally inviting his demise. They broke a couple of laws. Their dog was off leash in a place where leashes are required. Their dog attacked you and your dog, meaning they failed to control their animal in public. Any lawsuit they launch will require them to admit to these things in court or in binding arbitration, and will nullify any damages they seek to recover. This woman is an irresponsible pet owner, and her carelessness led to her dog being pepper sprayed. If anything, you could sue her. Irresponsible owners like this piss me off. The dog didn't deserve that and it's their fault it happened. I also carry pepper spray when I walk mine and I have a pit. I am not a lawyer but there doesn't seem any way you'd be held liable when they broke the law to begin with. Time for a camera on your porch for these visits. If they keep coming back you may need the proof to be able to keep them away. Aren't pit bulls illegal in Denver? Report an off-leash pit bull attack to the police. It's illegal to have dogs off-leash. You have a right to defend yourself from a charging vicious animal. I hope those people are forced to put their untrained and dangerous dog down. Horrible humans. Is it too late to file a police report? I would call the non-emergency line and discuss filing a report with them. This will help if you need to defend yourself, especially if they file one first and lie about dear sweet Fluffy being on a leash and your vicious dog attacked them. Also may get the dog owners to back off with the threatening talk. They could absolutely take you to small claims to recoup the vet's bill. Whether you were in reasonable fear for your own well-being and hence justified in pepper spraying it would be a question for the court to determine. It's clear you feel you were. It's also clear that they feel otherwise. Just being in fear is not enough to be justified it must be a fear that the court considers a normal, average individual would feel. Your prior history would be irrelevant in that regard. So, this seems extremely clear-cut to me. Unless the dog was. A in a designated off-leash area and door. B acting in an overtly friendly manner that could be corroborated by multiple eyewitnesses. There is no case. If there is a leash law and their dog was not leashed, I think that's all you need to win a case against the other couple. I feel like if this was a legitimate case, the lawyer husband would be handling the matter, not the emotional wife. Police should have been called. The dog off the leash is at fault regardless. It is like driving without insurance, you shouldn't be on the road. I don't know one big city that would hold you liable, honestly you could have shot the dog and it'd be fine legally speaking. You are supposed to leash cats when outside of the house. Anyways op, I would gift the dog owner a dollar store leash and tell them to kindly fuck. If anything you could press charges on them long before they would get a dime from you. Not gonna comment on the actual liability or anything, that's been answered dozens of times. But the might go blind part might be true, as pepper spray at very close range can embed particles into the eye and cause blindness. Regardless, risking the dog's sight over the life and well-being of yourself and your dog is by all accounts the right move.